I just got inside from um, dinner because we went out to eat and it's been a rainy day and hey are you guys interested in the stories? the story starts. Once upon a time there was a big dragon and every night this girl, well she was a, um, let me see, she was a, she was a human girl and after night she turned to a little frog, a porcupine frog, a frog with spikes. And he'd go off and hop onto the back, and they'd fly, and blow fire on the ground, and it, they had lots of fun. Until one night, there was a princess monkey who came along, walking, wondering what all the fire in the village was for. Didn't want any harm to the people, so she said, Jagged's out of the city. Now these two, did not like the sound of that. They never liked the sound of that. The sound of that was a bad. So they went to the righteousest cow. She lived in a forest long, long where a monkey prince, where the monkey king has come to spoken. Well, from another kingdom, saying, why do dragons have to get out of the city? Just as these two arrived, the great cow said, Don't be ashamed. Hide and hide for years and years until people forget about you. Rise again from the earth and the soil. No one knew what that meant. So he just left, stood on his legs, and went to talk to the princess monkey. Swing from his tail and jumps up. But as these guys hid, they found a ball. It was a weird ball. They jumped on it like a trampoline. The frog jumped the highest out of the contest of jumping. She only jumped that high, but kind of cheated with her wings. She jump, jump, jump. And then she would jump even higher and higher. But um, these spikes would protect her from which the princess monkey, and all the way past, far, far away, there was a baby, there was a, the, the prince from far away is talking to the princess, and said, said, oh mighty princess, why, from the Midgey family, why do you, why do you come? Why do you cancel all the dragons that live in this far earth? Because they've been blowing fire and destroying our homes. 
They're doing it because they're killing dragons. Well, I want the dragons dead. Send the army out now. Okay, so then 15 years passed and her and then the princess's mother and father died and she got married. But then she saw a flash, which was this little froggy turning into the little girl that um that she goes and gets the food because no one likes to see that them anymore. She, she saw the flesh outside her window. She wakes up her husband and they go up to the mountain and then as soon as they walk up, they hear a crack. The dragon fears, oh no, why have you, and then the princess says, why have you come here? I told you guys to stay out of the village. Well, and then crack, crack, and all of a sudden, boom, it turned into a little fairy with butterfly wings. And then it woke up a minute ago and said, I have trusted that you guys will live forever and ever, and that you will make peace with the people, and you guys will live right again. And then, then this princess saw everything and knew what to do. She was so sad and sorry that she did it. And she, and they forgave her, and then she, and this butterfly was the righteous one in the village. The girl turned back into the porcupine and grabbed onto the dragon. Those guys went to sleep and flew off. Okay, Jeremy, one second. And then flies and flies and flies. The end to that sound.